On July 7, 1892, the secret society called Supreme and Venerable Society of the Children of the Nation was founded. It is popularly known as Kati Punan. They advocated for freedom from the yoke of Spain, to be achieved through armed struggle. Undress Boni Pasho is always credited by many as the founder of Kati Punan. But actually, he is not the founder of Kati Punan. He is only one of the founders of Kati Punan. He was not even the first supremo or president of Kati Punan. Who are the founders of Kati Punan? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap the notification bell to easily notify you to my future ample videos. In 1892, Diodato Arellano and other Freemasons, like Andres Bonifacio, joined La Liga Filipina an association founded by Jose Rizal upon his return to the country. Aureliano was elected the league's secretary. A few days after the establishment of La Liga, Rizal was arrested and detained at Fort Santiago. On July 7, 1892, Governor Eulogio Despujol announced his immediate deportation to Dapitan. That same day, at the house of Diodato Aureliano at 72 Ascaraga Street, now Recto Avenue, Andres Bonifacio, Teodoro Plata, Valentin Diaz, Ladislao Diwa, Jose Dizon and Aureliano himself gathered together to found an underground association, the Catapunan. They are the six founders of Catapunan. Let us learn more about the six founders of Kati Punan. Diodato Aureliano was present during Rizal's founding of La Liga Filipina and was elected its secretary. He married Hilaria, the sister of Marcelo del Pilar. He worked as a clerk in the Spanish military arsenal in Manila. It was in his house where Kati Punan was founded. Contrary to popular belief that Bonifacio has always been the supremo of Catapunan from the very beginning, but actually, Diodato Aureliano was the first Supremo. He was elected to the post in July of 1892. Aureliano endorsed the laws of the Catapinan formulated by Plata and Diwa. Also, he was very careful about hiring new members for there were too many spies. However, he did not last in that position. Several months later, in February 1893, Bonifacio intervened and accused Aureliano as an ineffectual leader. This was a big mistake for Bonifacio, as Aureliano was very cautious upon picking members to join the Catapunan. Bonifacio succeeded in deposing Aureliano. The latter stepped down. However, it was Roman Bassa who was elected to succeed Aureliano and not Bonifacio. Nevertheless, despite this personal setback, he dutifully carried on with his work in the movement. While Bonifacio and other members were organizing popular councils in Manila, he himself was organizing provincial councils in Bulacan. He was imprisoned in 1896 and went home to Bulacan after the first phase of the revolution. At the outbreak of the Philippine-American War, he joined the army brigade of his nephew, General Gregorio del Pilar. Aureliano died of tuberculosis on October 7, 1899 while fighting in the Cordillera Mountains. Ladislao Diwa was born in San Roque, Cavite to Mariano Diwa and Cecilia Nocon and was educated at the Colegio de San Juan de Letran and later studied for the priesthood at the University of Santo Tomas. But he had to abandon his ecclesiastical studies just before his ordination in order to pursue law. He believed that due to the political unrest in the country, he would be able to serve in a much greater capacity as a lawyer than as a priest. While he was studying law that Diwa met Andres Bonifacio who often distributed propaganda material, authored by José Rizal and Marcelo H. Del Peller during the propaganda movement in Spain, inside the university campus. The two became close friends and Diwa later boarded with Teodoro Plata at Bonifacio's house in Tondo, Manila. After finishing his law studies, Diwa was named a clerk in a district court of Cayapo, Manila. While an employee of the court, Diwa joined La Liga Filipina.
Diwa and Plata formulated the laws of the Catapinan, which Aureliano, the first supremo, endorsed. He contributed to the Catapinan's expansion to the countryside because of his transfer to the Court of Justice of the Peace in Pampanga Province. Catapuneros in Bulacan, Tarlaca and Nueva Ecija claim to have been inducted into the Catapinan by Diwa himself. One of the most notable was Francisco Macapulos, who would become one of the most successful Filipino generals. Diwa was was captured by the Spanish authorities in Pampanga after the exposure of the Catapinan in 1896. He was released after the signing of the Pact of Biak Nob Hato. Upon learning that he would be rearrested, he fled to San Francisco de Malaban and joined the army of General Mariano Trias. He was instrumental in the surrender of General Leopoldo Garcia Peña, in San Francisco de Malaban in May 1898. General Peña was the commander of Spanish forces in Cavite. Diwa served as delegate in the Mahalo Los Congress. He survived the Philippine-American War and returned to Cavite. He died on March 12, 1930. Teodoro Plata met Bonifacio at a boarding house in Manila along with Ladislao Diwa who was then a law student at the University of Santo Tomas. Bonifacio, Diwa and Plata were all Freemasons who were inspired by the nationalistic objectives of the propaganda movement in Europe. He was the cousin of Gregoria de Jesus who became the wife of Andres Bonifacio. He in turn married Bonifacio's sister Espridiona. He was a close friend of Ladislao Diwa and both studied at the Universidad de Santo Tomas. In 1893, under the presidency of Roman Bassa, Plata served as counselor and it was at this time that the society organized a women's auxiliary section. One of its first members was Plata's cousin Gregoria de Jesus. In August 1896, immediately before the discovery of the Catapinan, Plata was elected Secretary of War. When the Spanish started arresting Catapinan members of August 19, 1896, Bonifacio called for a general assembly at Pugadloin, a place in Balintawak. There ensued a debate on whether they should commit themselves to an uprising. Plata opposed the declaration of hostilities because they had few arms and ammunition. But the final vote decided on starting the rebellion and the Catapuneros tore their residence and identity certificates. A few weeks later, however, Plata was arrested, and after a military trial, he was executed by musketry on February 6, 1897. José Dizan was born in Binondo, Manila and was married to Roberta Bartolome, who died in March 1876, eight months after giving birth to their daughter Marina. He was the uncle of Emilio Jacinto, son of his sister Josefa Dizan Jacinto. In April 1892, he was inducted into the Freemasonic Lodge founded by Pedro Serrano Lacta. That same year, he founded the Lodge Tele Ba in Throso, Manila and served as its venerable master. He was also among the officers of the Grand Regional Council that included Apollinario Mabini. Like many Filipino Freemasons of that time, Dizan was among the original members of La Liga Filipina which José Rizal founded to push for reforms in the Spanish colonial administration of the Philippines. But Rizal was arrested on July 7 and deported to Dapitan in Mindanao. In May 1896, Dizan was part of the committee that the Catapin informed to secure arms from Japan with the connivance of a Japanese ship captain. Three months later, however, the Catapinan was uncovered and Dizan was among the hundreds who were arrested for rebellion. Convicted by a military court, he was executed by musketry on January 11, 1897. Valentin Diaz was from Pauai, Ilocos Norte. He became clerk of court in Binondo, and like the others, joined Rizal's La Liga Filipina. 
he served as a counselor in the Supreme Council of the Katipunan from 1892 to 1893. He was one of the signatories of the Pact of Biak Nob Hado and joined General Aguinaldo in exile in Hong Kong. He served as Colonel of the Army during the Philippine-American War. He died on December 11, 1916 at the age of 71. Andres Bonifacio was born on November 30, 1863, in Tondo, Manila and was the first of six children of Catalina de Castro, a Spanish mestiza, and Santiago Bonifacio. In 1892, Bonifacio was one of the founding members of José Rizal's La Liga Filipina, an organization which called for political reforms in Spain's colonial government of the Philippines. However, La Liga disbanded after only one meeting as Rizal was arrested and deported to Dapitan in Mindanao. On July 7, 1892, Andres Bonifacio, Diodato Arellano, Ladislao Diwa, Teodoro Plata, José Dizan, and Valentín Díaz founded the Catapunan. From the beginning, Bonifacio was one of the chief Catapunan officers, although he did not become its supremo or president until 1895. He was the third head of the Catapunan after Diodato Arellano and Roman Bassa. Prior to this, he served as the society's controller and then as its fiscal procurator. Bonifacio was supremo of Catapunan only from 1895 to 1897. Thus, there were six founders of Katipunan, Diodato Aureliano, Ladislao Diwa, Teodoro Plata, Valentin Diaz, José Dizan and Andres Bonifacio. So, it is inaccurate to say that Bonifacio was the founder of Katipunan. He was only one of the founders of Katipunan and not even the first supremo of the society. Do you agree? Please leave a comment below. If you find this video informative and helpful, please give it a like and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will not miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.